It's a UFC featherweight division fight. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the close. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. Both fighters are 31 with similar height and reach. Here is Bruce Lee. Ladies Buffer. and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 137 pounds. Fighting out of Brasilia Distrito Federal, Brazil, Black Mamba. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, could take yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. All right, so here we are, Scotiabank Arena in Toronto. And these fans love freedoms, man. They're here from fight one through fight 13. And, and for us as broadcasters, it's always a treat to call fights. It's fun to call fights, and there are a lot of people there. When we come to Canada, every time it's completely full. Tonight, they have filled every seat again, and they're expecting a great fight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great timing to land that punch. Oh, he heard it bad with a jab. Oh! Oh, straight right! Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Ah. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Lee gets touched by that kick to the body. Slips. 
big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Oh, a little single collar tie there. How good is that right hand? He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. He's throwing every part of himself into these big legs. Back and forth we go. Ooh, what a punch. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. He loaded up there on that high kick. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Timely defense there, huge block for him. And they separate. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Nice one-two combination there. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Missed with that attempt. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big punch land. Ooh. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was good night if that landed. Oh, nice. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Real nice body kick land. Nice check on the leg kick offering there. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. 20 seconds left. Big leg kick lands. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Duff's the takedown, no problem. Round two straight ahead. All right, let us get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. And how about just the, the sheer volume of head kicks for him? I don't know why this dude's energy bar isn't completely zapped. You can't throw that many head kicks over the course of a fight. But I guess if you're landing them, you might as well keep throwing them. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. And they separate. Beautiful head kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. I mean, he's cutting down the side. Finish. Oh, nice high kick. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot.
try to establish that jab. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Single collar tie now. And they separate. This fight's gonna be over this time. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, hook shot blocked there by Lee. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they separate. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Back and forth we go. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Game of inches right there. Boy. It was a good night if that landed. Lee going for the head kick. No dice. Just misses with the jab there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Right hand upstairs. Lee's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Nice punch there by Lee. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh, that right hand is on point. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Ten minutes in the books. Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home. As we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. 
point thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Effective strike there by Lee. Oh, big left hook there. Oh! You got to check these low leg kicks. Lee's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Circling to his right. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. It's okay. Use your footwork. Let's get busy with those hands now. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. That is a thudding leg. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, wow. Big knee to the body. Straight right. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Powerful leg kick lands. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this short. He's never looked this good. Oh! Oh! Big elbow! Lee's got a pretty deep bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense for earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Nice. to land the kick to the body there by Lee. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. All right, single collar tie now. All right, boy, Ty clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy who try to break this immediately. Look at how his turn just hits over when he throws that kick. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Nice diversity in the attack. Oh! Great punch. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Connects now with the one two. On that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot, it's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, tags him again with a flush left hand. Man, looks like he's trying to set records. Whoa! He like that left hand. Oh. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. Allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up.
All right, so a big round for him there, DC. We'll go back and look at some of the highlights. Big knockdown for him. We'll see if he can follow it up. You could see that he was flowing. Everything was working in accordance to what he wanted it to be. And at the moment that it showed itself, the moment that the opportunity arrived, he jumped on it, got that big knockdown, and now he finds himself ahead in this fight. Trump. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got to hurt bad. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good match. Well, I'm not sure how much more damage he can take to the body. You may want to drop that elbow defensively. Of course, that opens you up to damage upstairs. Pick your poison for him here as he continues to absorb damage. Over and over, he's landing these big body shots. And he lands it. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Punch over the top. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Visibly limping here. Whiffs on the straight. Fighter's pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to hunt. Oh yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage on. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Big kick lands. Throwing that jab, no good. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in motion on the mat. Back mount now. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both both very powerful, very, very explosive. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, side control now. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Able to get back to his feet yet again. Oh, but not a good look for the judges here. Look how wobbly he is. This is not looking to finish now because he's got his opponent very bad. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Went for the inside leg kick. Under a minute now to go. Oh! He's out! Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head. But ultimately, this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight.
Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, six seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.